Hello viewers, I welcome you all to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to watch how to deploy a fresh embedded vCenter appliance. What is a vCenter? I know you are here because of you know something about vCenter. However, vCenter is a centralized platform for managing virtualized infrastructure. It can provide a deep visibility into the configuration of critical components in a virtual infrastructure. Simply say, all from one's place. vSphere vCenter also ensures a scalable and extendable management platform. vCenter automation, actually it unlocks the power of VMware vSphere. A virtual infrastructure can be achieved by many ways, but meeting business critical application service level agreements requires some features and capabilities. Following features and capabilities bring VMware vSphere to deliver a simple and automated virtual environment. The new architecture of vCenter adds a new functional component of vCenter called Platform Services Controller. Beyond single sign-on, Platform Service Controller includes additional services like uh, License Services, Certificate Authority, Certificate Store, Lookup Services. A lot of combination is possible to deploy vCenter like a multiple platform service controller and one or more vCenter. Uh, let us start with the simple deployment method vCenter appliance with embedded platform service controller. Mount your vCenter ISO and open the folder then dive to vCSA folder. Now you can see VMware client integration plugin. Double click on the setup file. Now the setup is running. Click next, accept the license agreement, continue, install. Once the plugin installation completed, let us dive back to the main folder and double click VCSA setup HTML file. Click install now. Accept the license agreement, click next then. Here enter the IP address of EXSI host which we are going to install this vCenter appliance. Here mine is 192.168.1.201 username then password next. Here name your appliance. And enter a operating system password. Click next. Here choose the basic topology install vCenter with the embedded platform service controller. I don't have any other vCenter so I click create a new SSO domain. There are four options available regarding appliance size. Here for the demo purpose I choose tiny up to 10 host and 100 VMs. 
the minimum requirement to host a vCenter in an EXSI host is shown in the description. So make sure you have uh, the same capacity available in your EXSI host. Here I choose to use an embedded database. Fill up the network address details uh, for this vCenter of Alliance. The system name you can fill up with a IP address or you can fill up a host name. If you don't have a DNS record for this vCenter, create a DNS record now. Once you fill up everything, click next. Just review your configuration and continue. Now the installation is in progress. It will take nearly 15 to 30 minutes to complete the entire installation. Once the installation is completed, you can log in to Web Client. vSphere Web Client requires Adobe Flash Player, so install Adobe Flash Player. Once you meet Adobe Flash Player installation, then you can log in to vSphere Web Client. Administrator at single sign-on domain so that is all thanks for watching this video for more videos and tutorials visit niasitpro.com or subscribe this channel thank you very much